This is going to look weird to a lot of you. Unless you're from the mid-2000s playing your homie side by side, alternating your view is pretty much a thing of the past. So why the fuck am I doing it here? Well, I'll explain. I'm going to show you guys a new way to close out a game. I'm No Sleeves 12. Alright guys, I'm No Sleeves 12 and this is the Hut Free to Play Division 4 games as well as how to close out uh, games in the third period. So today I want to take a second, you might have noticed something a little bit after my intro, um, I am now sponsored by Golda.com. So just a quick second, I have to mention them. Um, if you ever want to buy currency um, for Hut or any other game, really any other sports game as well as other MMOs, uh, be sure to visit Golda.com. Any experience I've had with them has been great. Um, and uh, if you use promo code SLEEVELESS, you'll save 3% off of your purchases from them. So I do got to give them a bit of a shout out. If you guys have any experience, good or bad, let me know in the comments. I am a little bit newer to them, um, but so far, they've been great. And uh, so, let's get to the games. So guys, we're starting off in Game 3 of Division 4. I'm 2-0 and at this point. Uh, we're going to get on the board quick here. I mentioned in my some of my other how to score videos, when you're a right-handed shot coming down the right wing, you, you don't have any of those against-the-grain options. An amazing goal is to just fire it low side off the pads it's hard to aim but you have to aim down at his pads essentially and you're gonna have that streaking winner winger or centerman go right into the net and that puts me up one nothing so we're up in the second period now um i don't play the draw very well he outsmarts me on this and he wins it back to his far side defenseman um i've never really seen it go in from this kind of angle usually it's the one in the slot and i'm not prepared for it and unfortunately my shitty anti-ranta goalie uh cannot save it so it's tied 1-1 so I want to show you this first part of the clip because uh, it's a great way to how to play the rush. Never be aggressive um, on the rush when you're controlling your defenseman. So I intercept the puck and then on the rush back up the ice. Um, I know that everyone thinks I'm gonna you're gonna go into the middle, so just move slightly and then go back out. 99% uh, of the time they're gonna bite on it here, guys. This is just out out thinking your opponent. You know they've played a hundred thousand games, just like you have. They know the tendencies that almost every player does. You just gotta play into them. Launch sequence activated. Piss missile in three, two, one. Got that face off win. They score! What a power play. Alright, guys, so uh Back to the on the rush goals. I mentioned this in my advanced gameplay video. You want to hold a deke while you're going along the boards and someone's pressuring you. Almost all the time you're going to squeak by. And then again, if you're doing the backhand deke, you can do that fire behind the back pass shit that for whatever reason is super overpowered. And uh, I get wide open in the slot after I've dragged all those guys over to the player along the boards. And it's 4-1. And let's end it on some deja vu. All right, guys, so that takes care of Game 3 and 3-0 and in Div 4. I'm running into some clubs that are much better than my uh, my team. But, again, as you guys see, skill trumps um, great lineups. So, uh, again, we're moving on. All right, so let's talk about today's topic. Okay, guys, uh, I said before, I'm trying to find ways and, and different things to teach you guys and come up with new stuff to... Um, not so much get better than everyone else, but uh, do different things to hide what you're bad at and take advantage of the game itself and not so much just like glitches or people that are just play the game smarter than you. So recently I was playing a HUD game uh, and I ran into a team that was probably one of the better ones I've ever played against, uh, the 99 Datsuk and all that nonsense. And uh, he was just crushing me on time on attack. Like I couldn't really. I got up. I got up two one on him, and he tied it before the end of the third. And I wanted to go in the third period and try something new because what I was doing was just literally hanging on and waiting for a breakaway or you know a, that that uh, luck in the slot uh, one timer when I was playing him, which had 
managed to get me to a 2-2 tie with this guy. So I wanted to try something different um, to kind of uh, limit what he was doing in the offensive zone. So what I did was I switched my, my view to, to down, and the reason I did that is I wasn't defending him well in the defensive zone. And what you guys are going to realize now, it's a little awkward when you first start doing it. Um, I myself literally haven't played going down since a tournament I did in um, – I did a uh, – uh, pro gaming tournament in person and because EA doesn't have um, where you each each person can get their own screen so you're both going up you had to play down in that or when you play your buddies it's the same kind of thing but because everything's online now you don't really do that so I played going down and it wasn't as hard as I thought uh, one thing I do need to mention if you do do this um, or when you try it make sure you put camera relative on the controls section make sure you make uh, so that you don't it changes the way you shoot so that when you do a wind up or a slap shot it's not the same as if you were going up um, made sure it says camera relative. Now, anyways, so in this, you're going to see that when he gets in the offensive zone, it's like I'm looking, like you know what to recognize. Playing defense is, is hard because if you're not good at it, and you're you know you're you're struggling stopping stuff or they're cycling really easy. Think of it; they're doing the same thing that you're doing in the in the offensive zone. So. When you switch to going down, you can see and you know what's open because you're looking for it when you're in the offensive zone normally, right? So I'm playing this guy, and I have a much better third period against him. He could not really uh, successfully get around and, and do what he was doing in the first two periods, and I, a lot of it was attributed to I could see what he what was open uh, essentially much easier because when you're going up, these are the things that you look for. Um, so uh, I get into the overtime with him and into a shootout, and I do play goalie and hut. I have about 300 games in my belt, so when I get to a shootout, it's a little bit easier. I fuck up and actually go up because I forgot to change the camera angle once. Um, but yeah, it's um, it ended well for me. But yeah, it's something I wanted I wanted to try to get, show you guys because um, this was just one of the games I wanted to show you guys this game in particular because the team that he had just completely destroyed mine um and there are times in hut where the the, the free to play uh, that series that i'm doing um you run into guys that are a just as good as me or better than me and they have an amazing team as well and that's when i run into problems obviously um and you guys will too but this is something different because i guarantee you you're gonna play much differently in the defensive zone when you're when you go down and i don't want you guys to say to do this the entire time because your offense is probably going to struggle a little bit but when you're when Either you're getting your ass kicked or you're trying to hold on to a lead and you're getting outplayed. Like, you know that you scored that shitty tip-in goal to go up by one and this guy's got 15 more minutes of time on attack. That's what I'm trying to get across you guys. That's when to do this. Um, and uh, it's something, again, just something new I thought I'd show you guys. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you like it or if you don't like it. And, uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, so we're going to skip ahead of the title game. I'm 6-0 and right now. Uh, this is going for the Div 4 title. Um, so I want to keep these videos a little bit shorter for you guys again uh, with the gameplay stuff, uh, but I do want to go over the goals and, and things I think that are pertinent to you guys um, to show you how I'm getting away with fucking murder here in this shit team I'm using. So um, look over the goalie stats, my anti-ranta, pitching a shutout so far as far as uh, losses go. So we'll step into the first here, and I just dial up some overload as usual, and I wait for that guy in the slot to get open, and he uses a um, on his forehand a shitty one-timer, but hey, I'm up one nothing. So guys, we're in the second. I want to mention this. Uh, my goal here is the toe drag uh, on a breakaway. Uh, I could do that. You want to do it from the left or right side. You want to be kind of on the left or right side of them, not directly in the middle. It works almost every time I do it now. You guys have probably seen it a ton of time in my videos. I really recommend it. It's almost 100%. Uh, you got to get good with it. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's extremely good uh, as far as burying automatic on a CPU goalie. So, uh, right after that, uh, he gets on the board here off the rush. I'm playing it pretty well. Um, I, at least I think I leave my CPU guy to pressure him there. Uh, he knocks him off the puck, but he just gets the puck back, and my goalie's so far out uh, that there's it's really uh, just a gimme for him. So he's making a bit of a comeback here. Um, again, I like to block my shots uh, from the point as a defenseman. Uh, I'm quite good at it here. Sometimes you will miss, though, so I miss this. Um, and my own defenseman, CPU defenseman, knocks it loose from my goalie somehow. And uh, it's another uh, kind of shitty EA goal. But uh, let's move on. So here, guys, um, this is exactly why I play with the one-two-two blue setting as far as forecheck and in the neutral zone and offensive pressure all the way to max. 
here is just a classic example of what happens when you pressure kids in the defensive zone super aggressively. And then even when your CPU is attacking, the guy that you're controlling, make sure that you're watching for what he's looking for. I uh, intercept the puck like three times here as, he, as he's trying to get it out of the zone. And uh, just doing the overload the entire time, looking for those passes up along the board until that guy in the middle gets wide open. And sure enough, uh, bing bang, it's fucking 3-2 boys. I said this a few videos ago. The last minute of any game or period is a fucking nightmare. And sure enough, I play the get, play great on the rush here, and uh, it's just a cluster fucking. Uh, looks like we're going to overtime. All right, guys. So we're into overtime. I'm just gonna let uh, let it play out here. On to Galchenyuk. And it's driven away again. In the defensive zone, pressing on. And the puck goes to Alex Galchenyuk, former player for the Sarnia Sting. To Gabrick. Two sticks together, they cancel. Great score! All right, guys, so that does it for Div 4. Uh, again, please let me know how it goes with uh, trying the going down view uh, when you're up or trying to lock down a, a lead. Uh, let me know if it works for you guys or if it doesn't or if you've already tried it and you've had success or you haven't had success with it. Also, again, uh, I am now sponsored by Golda.com. I'll leave their picture up here so you can see their site and whatnot. Let me know if you do decide to order from them. If there's any problems or uh, or if you have a good review or a bad review, just let me know. Um, and uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, uh, at No Sleeves Gaming, and uh, at, on Twitch, uh, www.twitch.tv slash No Sleeves 12. I do giveaways every week. And uh, yeah, guys, so um, again, stay average.